Today, I have got another vintage Drew Struson poster unboxing for you. So let's open this thing up and see what condition it's in. Ooh, actually got a double wrapped here. And even though this is a mid 80s poster, it did come rolled clearly. So I'm going to have to carefully roll this thing out. And there we have it, unrolled and in beautiful condition. Walt Disney's Return to Oz. Now it might not be the best in the adaptations of the Oz movies, I'm pretty sure most people would say that is the MGM version, but I've got to say, this was always a favorite of mine, especially the music and the atmosphere in the movie. Like, I've got to say, the score has always been the perfect representation of how Oz should feel to me. And of course, right down here, you have Drew Struson's signature, copyright 1984. And I've never even realized you actually have Princess Mombi up here in the tower. And they do really have every major player in here. I am a little bit surprised, though, that they decided not to include the Gnome King or the Wheelers on this poster. But considering how disturbingly creepy they were in the movie, I can see why it was probably not a good idea to include them in a poster for... Basically, what is a family film? Even though if you were a kid and saw this movie and saw, you know, a headless witch walking around and the wheelers for the first time, that was creepy. Like, even I loved horror movies as a kid, and that still freaked me out. At the bottom here, you have the Return to Oz one-sheet label, along with the logo for the 30th anniversary of Disneyland. And I really love the detail he was able to get into these characters. Maybe I'll upload this in 4K so everyone can really see the detail that went into this painting. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this little piece of Disney and Oz history. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. And if you're a fan of Drew Struson, comment below and let me know which of his movie designs are your favorite.